Hello everybody, we're on his way. We're on our way to Whitby, Robin Hood's Bay. And the weather's looking good at the minute, the clouds are clearing. Shh, don't say that. So we've got about an hour to go, we got stuck in a bit of traffic, didn't we? It's been yeah. a long journey. Bruno's in the back, be quiet. He's been a good boy. He's been a good boy. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be there in about an hour, didn't you say? Yeah, an hour to go. So, looking forward to setting up. Now we're just winding through the Yorkshire Moors. Wow, look at that. Some great scenery out there, isn't there? Yeah. It's nice if you like hiking. Mm, I like hiking, but not when it's raining. And we arrived at our destination, Middlewood Farm. Middlewood Farm Holiday Park has motorhome pitches, holiday caravans, glamping pods, touring pitches and camping pitches. Because it was last minute, we booked a pitch with an electric hookup, which is called a small, hard standing pitch. Unfortunately, the grass pitches were all gone. So, come through the campsite. This is the public footpath to the beach to Robin Hood Bay. Beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, it's about a 15 minute walk to the beach, to the bay, and the little sort of village that's down there. It's really nice, nice shops. Really nice places to eat, we saw, but obviously with a dog you can't really do that. There's quite a steep fall on one side. On the it? left, yeah. We've got Bruno on a lead, we've just seen a sign that says he's keep the dogs on the lead for 150 yards. But to be fair, I don't think I'd like to take a dog off down there anyway in case it falls down. So, yeah, it's just really pretty. It's only quite early in the morning now as well, so it might warm up a little bit. Look at the top, uh, the breeze has actually come back now. You can see a, uh, boats and a couple of tractors, old tractors. Uh, they're for pulling people out there who get stuck in the sea when the tide. Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and down here, there's a nice quaint little chip shop oh, where yes. you go by. They're cooking it right near the window. Yes, it's some yeah, nice eatery places like down here, definitely. Look at these. And I'm obviously conscious that people live in there as well. Robin Hood's Bay lies in the ancient parish of Filindales. The name itself is believed to be derived from the old English word Figella, which meant marshy ground, and it is very marshy. The first evidence of man in the area was 3,000 years ago when Bronze Age burial grounds were dug on the high moorland a mile or so south of the village. We wondered if Robin Hood lived in Robin Hood's Bay, but it doesn't look like it. It says that it's doubtful that Robin Hood was ever in the vicinity of the village. Oh, getting my steps in today. Uh, we've seen it yesterday, but how did that ice cream man get down on the beach? <laughs> the tide was in yesterday. Uh, you had to turn around, yeah. didn't you? It was randomly there. Yeah. Pretty little place to get your ice creams. Flapjacks, waffles, coffee. A man travels the world over in search of what he needs and returns home to find it. Well, I mean, when you think of the, how old you are yourself, about 1927, yeah. 2005. Bless a lot, Sheila. Rest a while with me. Yes, yeah, it's certainly a beautiful place. I bet there's been a nice few memories made on these benches. And there's another nice saying. In an autumn gale, as you walk by the sea, then look for me. Yeah. And that's from the mermaid. Remember that when we went down to Cornwall? I do remember that. Yeah. I think we should make a memory by you buying me an ice cream. Yeah. It's this morning's bench. We'll do. And we certainly did. Look at that, look at those seagulls. Can't get away from them. <laughs> Can you? As we were walking along, we came across a pile of stones. We hadn't seen any of these since we've been to Tenerife. When I googled what this meant, there are various different interpretations, but one that I kept coming across was that it was to stop travellers getting lost. If they put a stone on the pile, it got bigger and bigger than they'd know the way back and it also show where people have gone before. We walked right out into the mud to see the boats. Uh, it was quite slippy and a lot of seaweed about and very rocky. Um, this is definitely not 
that's a beach that children would really enjoy playing on, I don't think. It's more of definitely a bay rather than a beach. And as Tony found, there's hardly any shells on it at all, just stones and pebbles. We came up from the bay and started to walk through the narrow winding streets. It's a very hilly place. Some people seem to get up there just fine. It really is a cute little village with cobble streets, lovely places to eat and some lovely little shops. Legend has it that Robin Hood encountered French pirates who came to pillage the fishermen's boats and the northeast coast. The pirates surrendered and Robin Hood returned the loot to the poor people in the village and now that's why it's called Robin Hood's Bay. When we finally reached the top we realised that there was a car park up there and also that seemed to be where the coach trips landed. It's like going and exploring with flipping Linford Christie or something. He's disappeared. Where's he gone? Nice picnic area along here. These are all funded by the lottery grant. Are they? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, there's some nice ones at the other end. Maybe the Maybe a bench that you could sit down on. Oh, it's actually let me sit down. <laughs> It'd be nice if you could come along on a day trip with the kids and be nice obviously if the tide was in. It is beautiful. I think it would be good. I think it is coming in but it's a bit muddy and slippery and greeny down there, isn't it? Well, yeah, if we're being honest, I don't think it's a beach for kids beach, is no, it? No, no. More or less boating and fishing. Yeah, it's a historical sort of place. It's very nice though. At this point, Tony spotted some wild blackberries. <laughs> I know, but what if a bird poo's on it that's got bird flu? Or berries, look. Or avian flu, or any of these other things that could come Look at the price you pay for your berries yeah. in Iceland and Tesco, look, and they're all growing wild and free. And all the supermarkets are available. Yeah. yeah, I know what you're saying. People do pick them, don't they? Yeah. So Tony picked some blackberries. Oh, you'll be in trouble sitting in there. Don't get no signal around here. <laughs> so we followed the mosaic wall back and resisted the temptation oh, of fish oh. and chips. Each of the mosaics told a little bit of a story about the local legend and the local area. We then started our walk back to the site. Meanwhile, back at the van, well, it's Monday evening. I'm glad we went down to the beach when we did because it's now raining. The pup tent's blowing around in the wind. Bruno's down there. <laughs> and it's time to batten down the hatches. Thank you for watching the video all the way through. And don't forget to like and subscribe.